Ta prend double V si vu de colo Sénégal D'accord A école au Sénégal C'est facile tu n'as qu'à te connecter Ta école au Sénégal Les leçons sont beaucoup plus détaillées School systems Now we're gonna look at school systems We kind of did um, the subjects. I'll probably get back to it later as we go. But then it's important that we understand the school system. There are two kinds of school system. It's the public. Or the private. Public, it's owned by the government. Simple. Private, it can be owned by one person, a group of persons, or it's an NGO. But that's the difference. So oftentimes, often most schools, it's either public or it's either private. And then how does it go, the systems? You know, education, it's not necessarily, it could be, it could be academic. Could be academic. It could be professional. Professional. Vocational. It could be technical. So there are different systems of education. Academic, where you go to school, you know, the normal ABC, um, to university, to get a degree, so it could be professional, where there are professional schools, like I'm going out to a specialized training school, uh, medical school, for example, is a professional school. Um, you know, those are like the training engineering schools, are professional schools. Vocational, you wanna become a pastor, you wanna probably become an imam, I want to think so, you want to become a, a reverend, so those are vocational schools that they train you to become into a vocation, like it's much more spiritual. And then of course you have the technical, maybe you want to be a mechanic, you want to be, become a, a carpenter, you want to become a, a construction worker, like a builder, uh, a, an electrician, those are all technical education, there's schools for that. You know, mechanics are different kinds, of cars, or models, boats, whatever they are, those are more technical, but you know, so these are different kinds of um, the educational systems, the different kinds of education, because don't you, when you think about education, people feel that it's just going to class, and it's a normal routine of going to coming out the first degree in, I don't know, in art or social studies or whatever, you know, you have, but no, there are different kinds of schools. People go to school to become nurses. People go to school to become, I, I, I don't know, um, uh, doctors. People go to school to become teachers. You know, the professional schools like that to train you professionally after you're through, uh, probably with your first degree. You know, you can go now to become to become trained to become a lawyer to become a judge. Um, you're trained to become, after a, a certain level of first degree, you can go now to get into a professional school to become a doctor, which takes about seven years or so, um, to become a pilot, to become, uh, I don't know, lots of other professions out there, you know, that they train you. So um, that is, um, these are the different um, educational systems. And of course, so how are they graded? How do you start off with? Of course, you start off with, after the decade, you can start off with kindergarten, which is the, you know, a kindergarten. You can start off with kindergarten, which is, I know, American say kindergarten, the British would say nursery. You know, you start off with a nursery. And then you move on to what? Elementary? Elementary, we say elementary, the British would say primary. And then after elementary, you go, you move on to, um, you know, the British would say college. But um, the Americans would say seventh, all the way to. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way to probably 10 or 12. College, high school, let's say all the way to 12th grade, you know, which is plus high school, college. And then we go all the way now to university. British would say university. Americans would say college. 
So be careful with the terms that you use in British State University, American State College. So these are the very different steps. You can start off with the nursery or the kindergarten, which are the leading ones from about um, three to about five. And then you go on to now the primary or the elementary is about six to about 10. And then they go on now to college from about 10 years old, all the way to about 16, 17. And then they go now to university or college, which is about um, 18, 19, all the way to about 21, 22, depending on what courses you do. And then of course, after that university, this is undergrad because you're having your first degree, which you have your undergrad, and then you go to postgraduate for those who want to continue the academic postgraduate. Uh, and so postgraduate is for people that want to have a master's degree, you know, a master's. That's a postgraduate. That's for takes about two or three years. And then of course you can continue if you want to continue, you want to work, you go down to what you call your doctorate degree, your doctorate degree to become a doctor. So sometimes we hear people say, oh, I'm a doctor. You tell them, is it medical, as in medi doctor of academics, which is like doctor of history, which is doctor of academics, or a medical doctor, like someone that is exercised in the profession as a medical doctor. So doctor could be either doctor of academics, which is someone that has a doctorate in a particular course, in a particular subject like science or political science or law, or is it doctor in academic, or is it a medical doctor? So that's the difference, you know, with the doctor. You should be, should be able to ask people that have PhDs. You should be able to ask, oh, so are you a doctor of academics or, or you are a medical doctor? So these are the, the, these are the various steps that most people will follow. Of course, when you get to probably the 12th grade, you can branch on all the way, you can branch on now to a, a vocational. Because some people, you know, vocational, because vocational, you need to have at least the base to be able to read and write and express yourself, or you can go ahead even to technical. Most technical schools will ask you for um, your 12th your or your college or your 12th degree, your high school diploma. Most people will ask for a high school diploma. So it's important that you have it. It's even better off if you have your undergraduate degree, undergraduate, you know, that's when you go to college the first four years for the first three years, depending, like I said, on where you are. It's important that you have those before you get to your postgraduate program. So your postgraduate program, sometimes it's just a one year master's degree. Sometimes you have two years master's degree, depending on where you are and what you're offering. Sometimes you can have it in three. And then you go now to your doctorate. Doctorate is much more research work. Most often people that do doctorates can teach, you know, in that field that you do your research on. And so, of course, you know, here and here, and even here, you can do, um, you have what you call your thesis, but at the end, you have to defend. I defended, I wrote my thesis here when I was doing my undergrad, and then the masters, of course, you have to defend as well. And so, um, you will do your research, and you come and you present. Oftentimes, here, it depends. People say four or five years, maybe it take even longer if you're going full time, if you're doing part time. And so these are the various steps. But if you're doing a vocational, sometimes after your high school diploma, vocational, depending on what you're doing, it could take maybe a year, it could take maybe two. You know, sometimes professional schools, like if you're going for, I don't know, nursing, to have professional nursing, sometimes they'll tell you two years, sometimes they'll tell you three years. If you have, it depends on which level you're coming in. Are you coming as a high school diploma or you're coming in as um, uh, an undergrad, you know, someone that has a first degree. So it all depends on where you're going. But this, it's all about education. Sometimes you go just to, uh, sometimes I even ask you just to go to uh, maybe a, a, a professional school or just a vocational school without necessarily going through all this. Maybe you want to be trained in a particular field, maybe to become a nanny or become a, a help, house help, or even security guards now, they go through training you know and sometimes you can ask only probably only for your primary certification so it all depends but at least the basis is that you should be able to read and to write so when you look at it where are you now where do you intend to be have you planned by God's grace where you intend to be in the next four or five years what you plan on doing is it going to be professional is it going to be vocational is it going to be academic are you going on into our university is it going to be a technical education that you want to switch to what are you good at it gives you time to think about it and see the different routes that you're going to follow and the number of years that you're probably going to have to go through to become but it's 
I, I want to say it, it's 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 a good thing. It's quite a good thing. It's quite a, a shot that you should go for it. So these are the various kinds, and of course, in university subjects do change. Here and here, subjects do change. All this vocational, it could be engineering, it could be medical, it could be dysentery, it could even be veterinarian, it could be, um, it could be even a cook to become a cook to become a chef. It could be um, political science, it could be international relations to become an ambassador or, or become work for international organizations. It could be law and order, it could be government, it could be a film if you want to become an artist or become an actress, an actor or film writer. There are schools for that. So here is a good thing because you have different you have different departments. You get to you have a plethora of a lot of departments, a lot of things that you can choose on, and then you can continue your way. So it's important that you know a uh, school, the school system, how it works, where you're coming from. Before kindergarten, of course, you have like daycares and stuff, you know, head start that you start and then you move on into kinder one, kinder two, pre-K, kinder one, kinder two, elementary, all the way to 12th grade or um, high school, like they say. Um, and then you continue on all the way to your doctorate and even more people get to take one or two doctorate degrees. It just depends on what you want. But um, so this is a school system. This is the school system, public or private. Is it the business school? Is it a professional school? Is it an academic school? It is you that get to know it. I hope that this helps. I hope that it opens your mind, broadens your mind. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you. <laughs> Assure